So next guy, he's, uh, he's actually a native of Los Angeles, and of course a lot of brothers don't like to be referred to as natives, but since I'm black, that kind of cancels that whole thing out. Please welcome Mr. Tony Edwards. Give him a hand. Now, how you doing, Los Angeles? Yes, yeah. I was born and raised here in Los Angeles. Grew up in a town in South Central Los Angeles called Compton, which is a, which is a nice neighborhood. If you're a bullet. And, uh, and I was in a gang, but yo, it was a wimpy gang. Our colors were plaid, really. People didn't know if we were gonna kick their butt or play golf. It was very frightening. But this is back in the 60s, you know. My father was a barber back in the 60s, which is kind of ironic because nobody got their hair cut. Oh no, Pete, you remember? People just had these huge afros, just big, huge, just look like black jiffy pop, man. Just, 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 just hair so big, you could go to the market and shoplift. It's like, what ham? <laughs> we moved out of Compton, though, after a while. We moved out to the valley, went to the largest high school west of the Mississippi. I was now the only black student in the entire high school. I walked through the first day, the basketball coach saw me and went, yes! <laughs> we got a brother, yeah! <laughs> got a weird being the only black student in the entire high school. I learned some interesting things. I learned the alternate version of eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Don't look at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm serious, this kid is choosing sides. He's going, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a nickel, catch a nickel. What you mean, catch a nickel? Catch a nickel, nickel don't have no toes. <laughs> it screwed me up, it did. I made some choices that I wouldn't have made if I stayed back in Compton. I'll give you an example, and this is the truth, okay? I worked at Bush Gardens. I was an Oktoberfest dancer at Bush Gardens. You know, with the little leather shorts and everything, the little hat with a feather in it, you know? You don't believe me? Check this out. <laughs> You think I would actually learn that for a joke? And the weird thing was, you know, people were so drunk, they didn't even know I was black. <laughs> Bush Gardens is a weird place. This is an amusement park where they give you free beer. This is like Disneyland for alcoholics. <laughs> they would have dysfunctional family day, you know? Bring in three alcoholics and a codependent gets in free. <laughs> I worked at a bunch of amusement parks. I worked at Magic Mountain. I was a ride operator at Magic Mountain, worked on a little ride called The Scrambler. <laughs> Do you remember The Scrambler? Okay, for those you don't remember, this is what it looks like on The Scrambler, okay? a perfect ride to go on after you had like a couple of corn dogs and some grape juice, you know? They should just call this thing the cookie tosser, really, because people would get sick while the ride was in motion. At the end of the day, the whole thing just looked like giant spin art. Thank you. But this is my town. I know everything about it. There are two kind of people who live in Los Angeles, of course. There are pissed off people and there are stupid people. The pissed off people are pissed off at the stupid people. The stupid people don't know why the pissed off people are so pissed off. I'm a pissed off person. My neighbor Tim is a stupid person. He's a moron. He's too cheap to get an alarm system for his apartment, right? So he gets a sticker to put on the window, make it look like he's got an alarm system. I look at the sticker, you know what it says? Warning, these premises protected by Radio Shack security system. But you know what actually works? It does, because the crooks come by and they see that sticker. And they go, hey, we're not gonna rob this guy. He shops at Radio Shack. I don't need another realistic stereo system, man. I don't need another Space Patrol walkie-talkie said, let's go find some Sony stuff. He's stupid. I'm talking to the other day. I go, I go, I go, Tim, it's pretty hot today. He goes, yeah, you know, but it's not the heat. It's the humidity. Don't you wanna slap the crap out of these people, man? It's not, that's stupid. That's, that's like getting shot and going, it's not the bullet, it's the hole. You know what I mean? <laughs> the people who run television know stupid people live here. All you have to do is watch the commercials on television.
there's a commercial right on, on our, and out for uh, a service called 1-800-DENTIST. Now, if you don't know this commercial, this is for uh, a dental referral service, right? But it's so stupid, and I love it. There's a man and a woman in an office, and the guy's trying to find the best dentist in the neighborhood, right? So he's got a map of the city with a three-mile radius marked off. He's working on a computer, bringing up FBI files. He's got MacGyver working on some stuff over here, right? <laughs> but I'm sorry, the woman is the stupid one in the commercial. Why? She actually does this. She goes, well, why don't you just call 1-800-DENTIST? And then she goes to her Rolodex to get the phone number <laughs> of 1-800-DENTIST. She's like, 1-800-DENTIST, here, let me write that down, because you stupid, 1-800-DENTIST. Weird place. If you gotta live in LA, if, you know, you gotta be an actor, this is the place to live, you know. And uh, I was in a movie called Star Trek for The Voyage Home, I had a good part, I played the uh, black guy. And uh, <laughs> I always get that part, and that pisses me off, you know. Just once, I want to play the Chinese dude. I want to be Ling Chow, just once. Just to throw off the people watching at home. Honey, come here for a second. No, you're gonna love this one. Look at Ling Chow. <laughs> Actually, I played the helicopter pilot. When Sulu goes to get the helicopter to move the plexiglass, that's me, not a big part, just glad to be in the movie. I was especially glad that I didn't have to play the sixth crew member. You know what this is, right? This is when Kirk, Spock, Sulu, Uhuru, McCoy would beam down to a strange planet with one extra crew guy. This guy was never gonna see the Enterprise again, man. In fact, he always had the same line, no matter who played him. Captain, over here, I found something! <laughs> you guys have been great. My name is Tony Edwards. Good night!